This is Coogan Cassis for IFO TV in association with MG and Marbella. We're at York Hall here for the Frank Warren Show. With me, I've got Frank Bullioni. Back to winning ways, Frank. Great yeah. stoppage of uh, Sam Cousins. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a very tough boy. And credit to uh, Sam Cousins. He come come to fight and had a go. But um, I was just a little bit too sharp. Found the shots and uh, yeah, got him out of there. Absolutely. Um, looking back on it now, is this the definite right fight for you to yeah, have? Yeah, yeah, I think so. After, yeah. it, was, um, it was ideal. It was, it was game. It was durable. And he, and he comes to have a go as well. Um, but obviously, he's not at the level of the Kamitsky, so perfect uh, step, step in the right direction. Mm. Um, I mean, going back to that, I haven't spoke to you obviously, you know, since then or even after the fight, but was it was you kind of in a state a little bit of shock over that because you said you've never tasted defeat before? It was your first first defeat as a professional, and yeah, it takes you to get over it. it. Didn't taste nice, uh, Coogan. It's, it's not a it's not a feeling I want to feel again. Um, but it done me the world of good because. As soon as, as soon as I've been beaten, I walked back to the changing rooms. I knew in my in my heart and my mind, I thought I want to fight this guy again, and I can do a lot better than myself. Um, I trained hard, but trained even harder for this fight. And the adjustments I made in camp was working very well. But it takes a little bit of time, and that will that will shine through in the next six months. Do you regret taking the fight with Kamitsky? Not at all. Not at all. It was the best thing that's happened to me. It's made me it's made me a better fighter, and it's um, I've, I've been through the furnace. It's hard on me. I think there's sometimes a bit too much yeah, yeah. emphasis on yeah, boxers around. losing fights. You go through history, the greatest fighters in the world have all lost fights. There's only a, a few select ones that have remained undefeated. It's, it's not the losing of the fight, is it? It's, it's how you come back from it and how you apply yourself um, going forward. And um, I'll, I'll definitely turn a corner mentally and physically. And um, no, the, the best is yet to come. Hmm. Where do you see yourself in your career now? Because like I said, you've, you've made a great start to your career. You was coming through nicely. You can call that a setback, and now is this yeah. a, still a rebuilding process for you? Yeah, um, listen, uh, we, we, all, we said in the beginning you need three years being a prospect and learning and, and gaining experience. And Kamitsky was probably a, a fight you have past your three years, but I was making the right progress, so it was a fight we thought we could win. And it's a fight I still believe I can win, and I, I could have won. Just getting the mindset right, and it's, uh, it's coming through that. But yeah, I'm, I'm confident in my ability, and um, I'm confident of what I can achieve. So you're saying, you know, when you're ready, you'd like to step back in the ring with Kamitsky? Oh yeah, about that, yeah. yeah. 100%. Well, um, how's this camp gone, in leading to the others? Because you've, you know, you've been coming off the back of winning camps, and, yeah. you know, from, from your defeat to now, obviously, the camp's going to be, not different, but you know what I mean, the mentality behind it. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a more, more focused, hardened camp, and um, now I feel, I feel better, better off the back of it, to be honest. I, I had my fight three or four days back in the gym, training hard, training even harder than what I was, and um, yeah, sparring harder. And my mindset was slightly different. I was, I was thinking on my runs and, and on my training. I was thinking, right, this is this is for that fight, rather than just sort of going through the training and, and looking at it as a training session. I'm looking at it as every single every single day and every single session is a battle, and you got to win those battles to win that war, and that's what the fight is—a war. Well, your fan base didn't desert you, did they? You still got your fan base there. Yeah, oh, massive, uh, massive debt of gratitude to all the fans. Uh, they, they showed their loyalty, and uh, I think it shows uh, shows there's something special with the, uh, the team. But they only look stuck by me, and um, yeah, I'll be, be forever, forever grateful. Um, you've already you already won the Southern Area title, didn't you? Before? No, Did you fight for the Southern Area no, title? No, I was going to fight uh, Kelvin Young. Oh, that's uh, it. Sorry, yes. He ran, he ran to the hills. And uh, yeah, we had, we, had to, uh, we had to step up a little bit, but it's, it's, all, it's all worked in my favour. I'm a much better fighter now, and um, I've got a lot, a lot more experience behind me. Absolutely. Uh, going back to the Cousins fight, obviously um, it looked like you was going to you were gonna make early work of him. Yeah. Start great. Yeah, uh, well, I've, I've been training so well, I genuinely thought that it was only going to go a couple of rounds because of how sharp I'd been and um, against the quality opposition I've been sparring. Um, but credit, credit where credit's due. Um, Sam Cousin, he, 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 he dug deep, he hung in, and he, and he traded with me, but I felt my shots were more telling. Um, I was slipping a lot of his shots. He landed with a couple of right hands, but I see him and I rode him well. And um, yeah, the next fight I'll be even sharp and I'll come back quicker with the counters and, um, and not get caught with, with shots again. Do you know when you're out again next? Uh, end of September, I believe. End of so September. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have a few days off and then get back in the gym. Absolutely. All right, Frank, listen, it's great to see you back. And like I said, back to winning ways. So um, yeah. onwards and upwards. 
and uh, you seem quite positive, so crack on. Top man, Coogan. I'm, 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 unfortunately, I probably won't be out celebrating. Uh, I'll be back in the gym, so I won't see you in Sugar Up. But um, you might see me down the TKO. I don't, I don't really go there anymore. Coogan, I wouldn't I'll, know. I don't really. Do one, once a week, that's it. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> we'll shout your sponsors. Shout your sponsors. Yeah, big thanks to uh, to West One. Um, Dean, he's been a great asset. Max Smith helped the uh, sparring again. Um, yeah, Gatorade, um, Bet Victor, fantastic. Pride scaffolding. Yeah, they were. Uh, got a lot of sponsors. Got a lot of sponsors, and I've got a lot of loyal people that have that supported me through. So, um, yeah, massive, massive thanks to all of them. Arts Heritage. They were, uh, yeah, no, I'm really, really thankful to them. All right, Frank Brilliant, thanks for talking to Eiffel TV, and uh, we'll catch up with you soon. Top man, Thanks very much. Thank you very much.